This conference will now be recorded. Yeah, hi. Uh, in this session, we will understand how we can check the material availability in resources scheduling apps. Okay. So here in SAP, uh, as for HANA, in a resources scheduling, we are having four different major apps, which is having different functionality to manage your schedulings. Okay. So here, what we are doing before, <clears throat> before dispatching any order operation or to add that order operation to your schedule make sure that any required material component should be available so what is happening before dispatching any operation through resource scheduling apps you can check the material availability in the system okay we can check it easily the material availability status in the resource scheduling app so how it will work whatever your functionality is going to be triggered in in uh, plant maintenance order okay that how you can manage in the resource scheduling app we will see it here so these are the four major apps which we are having here resource scheduling for maintenance planner schedule maintenance order operation maintenance scheduling board and assign maintenance order operation okay so here to manage my material availability check Okay, to check this material availability here, first of all, you need to add the work center in your resources scheduling app. So whatever the orders are having these work orders as a main work center or maintenance work center, it will show here in your app. Okay, that is the first thing. Okay, second, you can manage, you can check your material availability in the different available apps so first app is resource scheduling for maintenance planner within this you need to go into resource utilization app okay this is the first second you can check in maintain maintenance scheduling board you can check in manage schedules you can check assign maintenance operation order operation okay so if you are going with the resource utilization app through this app you need to click here you need to navigate it through resource scheduling for maintenance planner from this you need to check here work center utilization so click here to check the details okay and here when you will check the details you will see the different orders okay so as we know that when system is checking the material availability correspondingly it is showing you the system status in the order header okay so here if you check your transaction iw32 their particular pm order okay for that whatever the component which you have added there <clears throat> accordingly as per the <clears throat> as per the functionality as per the configuration as per the configuration or as per your process whenever you are you are uh, um, planning some material a uh, material component same time it will set the system status of order header so here also when we are going to check material availability status we can check with reference to your order header or particular order operation okay but it is the same thing because this status is driving from the order header so same status will be available for all the operations in order okay so when we are checking it as per the status which you are having in pm order okay in iw32 let's say in the change pm order transaction so these are the status material availability status and correspondingly how it is showing you here material availability status in resource scheduling it is showing here so first is the material shortage if it is showing you mspt here in the app it will show you material shortage if it is MANC in IW32, material availability not checked, here it will be material availability not checked. If it is no material component here, and MAT, here also it will show you no material component. If it is material committed, showing in IW32, MACM, it will also show you material committed. These I0004, I0420, I0485, I0340, these are all internal generated number for these system status okay this is the code which is 
getting generated automatically okay you can check it in different table in sap gui okay so let us see how it is showing us in scheduling app i am opening my system okay one second so here this is my uh, query screen here resource scheduling for maintenance planner click here it will show you details of all the orders with reference to my work center so already i have added work center project and packing one so correspondingly it is showing me all the data here so let's say i just want to see the material availability for the orders for which the maintenance for which the work center project has been assigned okay as a main work center and maintenance work center so your main work center and maintenance work work center can be the same here it is focusing on maintenance work center so i have just click here okay it will show me all the orders which are belonging which belongs to project work center okay if you want to see my work centers here you can see it here these are the two work center which i have added here okay so let's say i just want to see the material availability for this order okay for this operation in this order so it is the same thing whether i am checking here maintenance order or i am checking it through maintenance order operation so to check the details you just select this operation and go to show corresponding order here it is showing me material committed okay so let us see in the gui what is status it is showing in iw32 you go here in iw32 enter the order number 400615 press enter here you can check components okay here i am having two materials car 30 and car 70 so the quantities are uh, 10 for each okay then i can check the status here it is a material committed okay so whatever the status it is going to be set here on header status uh, in, in a pm order same will reflect there in your scheduling app okay so this is the way how you can check to filter all this data let's say if you are having many orders available here then you can filter this 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 data through performing work center you can filter it through priority you can filter it through order type activity type control key processing status okay through which you can you can check all this data when you are coming here in maintenance order operation you will see here show utilization so this is your work center utilization this is a work center so here my project is a work center or which it is showing me the utilization okay here we don't have any direct link of this graph and for this data okay this will whether you are having authorization for all object or not it will show you complete data here in the graph but here the data will appear based on your authorization authorization in a pm order side in pm side let's say if you are not having authorization for a particular object it will not show here in this app but here whatever data is coming it is irrespective to authorization you can check all the details of this graph also here okay you can you can change all this let's say if you want to see it through a work center you can select it here you can select as per the priority order type activity type so by these a different uh, filter you can you can see the graph here if you see ready to be called this is coming from the maintenance plan okay this is showing the maintenance plan due the operation which are due to dispatch and this is a dispatched and these are the in progress okay so we'll discuss all the status and everything technically how it is going to be used and as a basic whenever you are going for any implementation what is the approach to use it and what are the different technical things which we need to understand as a em consultant to implement complete resource scheduling apps okay thank you as of now i'll i'll post some more uh, useful uh, 
uh, videos by on the same topic uh, for different resource scheduling app thank you